Hey guys, Sylvia Guacamole here, bringing you the first SPLU game of the season on Doc's channel. We have Pearl vs Lycans, Pearl's on the Ruiners, uh, Lycans is on the Sharks, and going into this game, the Ruiners were up 4-3. Um, Pearl and Lycans are 1-3 and three on the PR respectively, so it's a pretty hype matchup going into week 1. Um, Lycans has a cool T-Spikes plus Suicune build. Um, it could either be it could either be Vincoon or Crocoon on this build. Um, because you're more likely to see Vincoon on standard T Spikes plus Weekend builds, but this one um, appreciates Croakin's ability to deal with Sizz a little bit better. Um, as for the rest of the team, I'm thinking it's maybe Fight Z Toe because he does struggle with Empoleon somewhat, and having a lure for that would be really nice. It's just looking like it could be a standard SD Sizz or it could be banned. Um, the Scarf is probably just Hydreigon, although that could also be a Z lure, and then it could be he could be he could be using Bantas plus Aero as his speed control, or it could even be Scarf Togue. Um, Pearl's team is pretty heat. He has a Sil Valley Fairy, um, which is being used pretty much solely to win their win the Hazard War versus Mixed Rocks combo, and also because it's a fairy that isn't threatened out um, that effectively by Nido King because it can Ice Beam it. Um, Pearl's also rocking a Seismic Toad, which isn't seen much, but um, wins the Hazard War versus Rotom Heat. Um, Pearl's, Pearl's gone with this team. He's really trying to win the Hazard War, going with specific counter picks against Lycan's um, sort of go to removal and Hazard Setters, although he hasn't brought them in this game. So it's going to be interesting to see how, how that pans out for Pearl. Um, probably Standard Aero. And then the Infernape, he has a bit of leeway with the Infernape set. It could be. Um, it could be Scarf, although he already has Aero plus Priority. Um, so we could see Nasty Plot Z or even a Band set. Um, so let's get into the game. Um, we're going to see a Sylvali Fairy lead up against Nido Queen. Um, Pearl can Ice Beam here, or he can just parting shot out while Lycans gets up the rocks. Good play, good play. Um, Pearl's going to go into Toe just to get up his own rocks. We're likely going to see one of either Suicune, um, Hydreigon, or... Togekiss come out here. He he probably goes into Hydreigon or Togekiss, whichever one is um which, whichever one is not Scarf. Uh, so yeah, because he doesn't really want to eat a Toxic with a possible Vinkin. Um, he doesn't really want to eat a Toxic with anything. But um yeah, getting a Toxic on Vinkin would be pretty awful this early in the game, as it's a good way to um as it's a good way to. Uh, annoy Amoongus and Seismitoad on this squad, plus it deals with the rest of the team pretty comfortably. So Lycans doesn't really want to let this get toxic um, immediately if it's Vinkun. So Pearl's just going to lay out the rocks here, obviously, and yep, we're going to see Togekiss come out. So we're probably just going to see a um, either an Air Slash or maybe even T Wave if he has it. Um, Yep, just see an S slash come out. Nasty plot was also a possible play he could have made there. Okay, so it looks like it's either a slow Sylvalley or a Scarf Togue. Um, he just clicks S slash again. Um, this isn't good for Pearl, really. I think he kind of has to pivot out into error here. Yep, as he does so, Lycan's just going to click S slash again. There is not to. Um, Pearl can pretty safely roost up here if he has it, or he can Earthquake going, going to try to hit Nidoqueen. Um, but he just he just roosts. This Nida Queen is probably an Ice Beam variant because otherwise the aero matchup is pretty pretty shitty for um, Lycans. We see Seismito come out and we see Suicune come out on the double. Okay, nice play from nice play from Lycans trying to exert a bit of pressure early. Um, we're probably just going to see a sub up or a Calm Mind here. Okay, Calm Mind suggests to me that he's rest if he was willing to risk the Toxic here. Okay, he's sub, so it looks like he is Vinkun. Okay, if he is Vinkun, I, I do not agree with um, going for Carmine first. I think you always sub up first, because it gives you an extra turn of leftovers recovery. And um, also, if he went for Toxic, he wasn't screwed. Um, so we're just going to see some Amoongus on Suicune action here. Uh, not the most entertaining, but um, welcome to you. Uh, so it's taking it's taking Amoongus a couple of Giga Drains to break the sub and it's losing PP on Giga Drain all the time. So it'll be interesting to see if um, Earthquake breaks the sub here. I doubt it will, so he can be pretty fat. Nope, it's not breaking the sub. It might be a roll, so we might see it break, might see it not. Um, 
bear in mind EQ only has 16 PP, which Lycans is wearing down pretty quickly. It's effectively 8. He's on 10 now. Um, and Lycans is, Lycans is winning this exchange. He's going to stall out all of um, Pearl's EQs before Pearl beats him. So you have 8 EQs to go. 6. So Pearl will, um, Lycans will get away from this exchange with a sub. He's just calm minding to waste um, to waste PP just to kill time really. Uh, so it looks like Pearl's just going to EQ twice more. And that's going to be the end of his Seismitoad's PP. So Lycans has enough has enough HP here to go for a sub, um, which we're likely going to see come out on the Infernape. So he goes Infernape. Um, I guess he can CC or he can. Yep, he just goes for the U-turn, which suggests that it's probably Scarf, because Band would have Band would have broken the sub there. Um, oh, we see a rest come out. Okay, that's massive. Um, that means that this Suicune is in a really good spot to do some damage. The fact that it's rest as well means that it has um, ex eff it effectively has extra PP um, because he can just sit there um, and use and and spend three turns doing nothing and PP stalling the opponent with the use of one rest PP. Um, and he isn't even pressured to go for to go for. Um, Sleep talk because A he doesn't have it and B there's nothing that really carries him that easily. He just needs to make sure that he has a sub up in case the Amoongus comes in. Um, so we could see some so we could see some mind games in the lake in in a bit as to whether he goes Inferno on a sub and CCs to break it or whether Lycans predicts that and just hard scolds. Um, we're gonna see Pearl probably either go out into Toad or Amoongus here. Um, Toad obviously walls. Suicune, but Suicune walls Toad right back, so there's not a lot going on here. Um, we could just see a double out here um, on Pearl's part, trying to get him to waste an extra one extra PP. Uh, there's not much point in going for Clear Smog really because Lycan's always subs here. Although Lycan's may switch out, he only has um, now he only has eight subs left, which means that if Pearl can um, somehow wear it down uh, by Keeping um by keeping Inferno in and keep clicking U turn, then he can um potentially stall it out of subs. Okay, this seismic has refresh, which is nice for Pearl for the PP war, because the because obviously refresh isn't affected by pressure because it doesn't affect Suicune. So we're gonna see Hydreigon now come out on the refresh. Lycan's trying to get a bit of momentum back, and he has an 100% Suicune in the back. So this game's looking pretty tough, really, for um for Pearl. We just see a Dark Pulse come out here. Pretty easy play for Lycans. Um, the Silver Valley Fairy is pretty much dead and dies too anyway. So not really any reason to do anything else. Okay, we see an SD come out from Inferno here. Pearl may be about to wrestle something back. He clicks Z. Okay, Z fire. Okay, this is gone. Okay, that just died. He's not quite in blaze yet, but um yeah. So. This doesn't have Mac Punch most likely, it's probably um, CC, U-Turn, SD, Flare Blitz. So it can't threaten the Aerodactyl into Rock's range. Aero misses Stone Edge on, on this guy, which is pretty pretty tough. Misses Stone Edge on the Amoongus, and we just see a safe ball come out from Pearl into the Suicune. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that he sacked that to sleep, because that could be slightly annoying. I probably would have sacked, I don't know, maybe, maybe my own Aero. Um, because there's an 100% Seismitoad and you're not getting anywhere for quite a while. You're not getting damage on the Seismitoad e either easily. Um, so we see a U-turn come out as Pearl goes into Amoongus rather than stay in to get a knockoff. Um, which is, which is a fine play. Although Sizz could become a little bit dangerous in the late game. Although if he has... If, if he knew it was banned, which makes sense on Pearl's team, then um then yeah, that's a fine play. Um we see Hydreigon, we see Bish come out here on the Hydreigon. Um Lycans doesn't really have much of a reason to switch here or anything that he can switch into because he's because he's risking an SD. Um so we'll probably see two more two more dark pulses come come out here. Um he could I suppose try and predict something. Okay. Oh, okay. We see a Z move here. Z fight. Okay. I thought there'd be something for the Impaleon matchup because otherwise it's pretty suspect. But we see the Inferno come out here. Um, 
most likely clicking U-turn or CC, so you can go Togue predicting that, or you can go to um to Suicune. Okay, but Pearl predicts the um Togue kiss to come in and go to Flare Blitz. That's a really nice play. Um, Blaze boosted Flare Blitz is doing a ton to is doing a ton to Lycans, and this Togue is now pretty much dead. Um, even if he is Scarf, he won't outspeed here, so he basically just dies. Um, Pearl, Pearl just clicks attacks, there's no reason to risk anything else. Okay, he roosts. Is he going to get punished? He does get punished. Lycans clicks T-Wave, and that is not good for Pearl. That is really not good, because this aero could have done some damage with that Suicune being asleep and without having, um, and without having Sleep Talk. So I, I do not agree with that play. I think you should have just got rid of the Togue. Um, we're going to see a home clause. Oh, it could have done so much. That's that's got to be really frustrating for Pearl, but I think he slightly slightly misplayed there by going for the roost. Um, Suicune so gets awake after one turn, which is really frustrating. Um, and Pearl clicks. Pearl clicks the Stone Edge and does half to the Suicune. Um, Seismito comes back in here. Uh... Yep, he can go out into Hydreigon or he can just sack Togue. Either either play works there. He scolds, trying to get a burn. Um, he doesn't. Lycans just resets up here. Okay, that's not good for Pearl. Pearl sacks. Um, and Hydreigon is at 100%. And gets free Dark Pulse off. Um, so he can try and hit Focus Blast here. He doesn't really have to make the play, but he does. Okay, and this game is this game is very over. Um, Pearl loses, Lycans starts with a 1-0 record and a win against the top player in the pool. So, fantastic start for Lycans. Um, there's nothing that this that this Amoongus can do, really. And um, Seismitoad is going to die to pretty much everything else in the field. So, the players say GG. That makes it 4-4. Four, four. Um, the Ruiners, Pearl's team, actually went on to win this week 8-4. So, this was, the last, this was the last win the Sharks got. So, um... So yeah, uh, see you guys. I've been Silvio Guacamole. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, I'll be bringing you some more SPLU games as soon as I can. Uh, I've got Sage vs. Rob Jr. to do, and there'll be a couple coming up this week as well. I'm likely to record Harris is Awesome vs. HT, and um, one other, whichever, whichever one, whichever one makes for the best game. So yep, yeah, cheers guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed.